Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you this look, which is actually a look created by Kathleen Lights. She recently posted a three looks um, with a red lip video. And I thought it would be really fun to follow one of those looks and recreate it for you guys here. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be following a Kathleen Lights tutorial. She just posted recently three easy makeup looks to pair with red lipstick. And since I ended up picking up her Twinkling Lights collection with ColourPop, I decided it would be pretty fun to follow this since I have pretty much most of the products she kind of mentioned in this video to be able to create one of the looks. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can insert the video on the screen somewhere so you can see like what... I'm following. If I can't put the whole video, I will link it of course, but I will try to show you a screenshot of the look that I picked to follow because she did three different ones. So I'm doing a the winged liner one that she did and I'm going to pair it with this red lip since I haven't worn it yet and that is something I always kind of struggle with is figuring out what a red lip can go with because anytime I do any kind of eye look, I always go for a nude lip just because I feel like you can't go wrong with that and it won't, you know, counteract with the eye makeup you have going on. So anyway, I just want to follow one of these. I thought it would be a fun thing to do and I love Kathleen and she ended up using her Dream Street palette which is one of my all-time favorite palettes. So again, I thought it would be fun. So I guess let's just jump right into it. The main focus of this video is going to be the eyes and the lip. I will, once I do my face, I'm probably just going to speed you through that, but of course I will have everything that I use today linked down below. So I guess let's just get right into it. Also, really quick, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am no longer blonde hair. I have my natural color is up top and then my hair lady kept some of the lightness in the ends but it is definitely brown. I decided to go away from blonde because it was just so expensive to maintain when my natural hair is this color. So I decided let's just go back to brown, give my hair a break because I really don't want to keep dyeing it as often as I was. And the last time I went my hair lady kind of messed up what my old hair lady, I went to a different one for this, my old hair lady just really kind of butchered my hair and I was not happy with it at all so I really kind of just turned me away from blonde for now um, and it's also just very damaging so again that's why I wanted to go brown so you have to tell me what you guys think I'm actually super happy with it and the new hair lady I found is amazing she's cut my hair a couple times but I just wasn't going to her for my colors I was going to someone else I wish I would have just been going to her for that because it would have saved my hair a lot of trouble but I'm happy with where I'm at now, so anyway, I just wanted to point that out because it is quite obvious that I changed it. <laughs> okay, so let me zoom you guys in a little so you can see what I'm doing. The first thing she does is she's going to prime her lid, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm using my CoverGirl Lid Lock Up. I recently rediscovered this in my collection, so I've been using it, and that's what I'm going to use right now. <laughs> I do want to point out that I'm not going to be using the exact same products as Kathleen did. I'm just using similar things in my collection to try and recreate this look. Then she just took some of her face powder and she is setting down the lid, which actually I'm going to use my Tarte Park Ave Princess and I'll be using the shade Enhance. <laughs> Alright, so now that I've set that down, let's see what the next step is. So next she takes from Dream Street Palette the shade Shooting Star, which this is actually one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. I actually have like a dip in the pan, which is not very common since I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but I did actually hit, I'm starting to get a dip in this one, so it's very well loved. So anyway, she takes this, and this is pretty much the only shadow she's using, and she put this all through the crease just to give the eye a little something, which is fine by me because I absolutely love this shade, like I said. So I'm just going to take, she took it on a big fluffy brush, so that's what I'm going to do as well. So 
I tried to make that as even as possible. Um, it's a little bit tricky, so let me just go over that with a clean brush and just try to clean things up. Alright, so moving on. Actually, one thing I noticed is she kind of did when she was doing it in her crease is she's kind of dragging a little bit down onto the actual lid. So I want to go back in and kind of do that as well. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. So Kathleen uses a like midnight blue liquid liner, but I don't have anything like that. I just have black, so I think that's what I'm going to go in with. I'm debating on whether I want to use my gel liner or a liquid. I am not good with winged liners, so this is probably going to take some time. Of course, I'll fast forward you guys through most of it, but if that's what we're doing we're doing a wing so wish me luck okay guys so i think i'm going to cut out some of the footage but i'm just going to tell you guys what happened i was trying to use one of my liquid liners this is the stila one and it's like you know the felt tip and i think so i think this is kind of just bad because as i was doing it it would create like these little like gr ridges almost so i was having i kept making it thicker trying to make it look better look even and then i switched to my deck of scarlet one but then when i started to do the outer part of the wing it just looked atrocious so i had to take this eye all the way off redo all of that which i didn't put on camera but i think i'm gonna try and switch to my gel liner and i'm definitely probably gonna keep the wing like super baby because kathleen does a bigger one but i have found on me personally big wings just do not look good like the tiniest little wing is the much i can get away with at least with my skill level currently i really do want to get better at winged liner because it looks awesome when you can get it like perfect but anyway, I'm just going to do what I'm comfortable with, and I think I'm going to switch to my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black. I do like this one, and I think this is like the newest liner out of all the ones, out of the two I was using. So I'm just going to take that on like an angled liner brush and see where that gets us. Let's hope attempt two goes better than attempt one. <laughs> Okay, so I think attempt two turned out better. As you see, it's just like the tiniest, tiniest little wing. Once I tight line, it's going to look better because right now I always feel like a winged liner looks weird until you put regular eyeliner on the tight line. So I know this is not perfect. Obviously, Kathleen did a way better job than me, but I thought it would just be fun to try and see how I could do this look since, you know, I watch tutorials and sometimes it's like, man, they make it look so easy like she did her wing and it looked you know she always she does good wings and it's just i want when you go to try to recreate something you know sometimes it is harder when you don't have the same skills that the tutor person in the tutorial does so i wanted to try to just recreate my own version of this look so here is where we're at with the baby 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 wing that you can probably barely even see on camera i might it's like i'm just so scared to try to like mess with it because you know it's it looks okay as it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and we'll get on with it all right so I think this is as good as we're getting with my wings so let's just move on to the next steps in the makeup tutorial Okay, so the next thing Kathleen does is she takes the teal shade in this palette, which is Water Bearer, and she pretty much just stamps that over the liner. Now, I don't have as thick of a wing as she did, so it might not really show up as much, but I'm going to try my best and see where we get with it. Okay, I want to say one thing that did kind of help this look is as I'm stamping the teal liner on or the teal shadow onto the liner on the inner like on the lid part portion of it I stamp it on and then I kind of try to like blend it up just a little bit I don't know if you guys are going to really be able to tell on camera that it almost creates just like a little bit of a gradient or like a I don't know it just made it look a little bit more even than how it looked with just the liner so so far I think it looks decent I mean it's no Kathleen lights look but it's something similar so 
I don't know if that's a tip for you guys if you guys aren't good at liquid liner, wing liner like I am. Okay, so far I think this eye is maybe looking a little better, but once I do my foundation stuff, I can clean that up, but let me see what the next step is. So now she moves on to her face, so I'm going to do that, speed through it really quick, and we will be right back to finish up the eyes. So now that I have my face done, we are going to go back into the Dream Street palette and back into the Shooting Star shade and we are going to buff that into the lower lash line. So she went in with an Urban Decay liner and it's more of like a bluey teal shade but I think I'm just going to use my Urban Decay liner and Overdrive, which it is more on the green, green side, but I feel like it maybe does have a little bit of blue to it, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this since it's really the only colored liner close enough to what she's doing that I have, and we'll see how that looks. If I don't like it, I might just end up going over it with black, but we will see. <laughs> So it does show up pretty green, so I think I'm going to go take my black liner and just kind of go over it a little bit to kind of tone down the green a little. I think that looks much better. Okay, so now she takes the water bearer shade again, which is that blue that we put on the uh, liquid liner on top and she kind of just adds that to the lower you know to the eyeliner portion of it as well on the bottom so I'm going to do the same thing okay it's not going to show up as well just because I used the black so anyway let's move on next we're going to highlight the brow bone with the shade Mooney which is this one it's very very pretty And we're also going to take that mini shade in the inner corner as well. Okay, so now we're just going to jump into the mascara part of it and then we're going to pop on the lip and I think that is it for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise as usual. I do always think mascara helps to tie a look together. Now I know that this eye definitely does not look nearly as good as this one as far as the wing goes, but I mean, you know, this is my skill level. I want to be, I want to show you guys how it is for somebody that really doesn't know all the techniques to doing makeup. So I want to, you know, show you guys the real look, I mean, this is how I did with, you know, trying to follow her tutorial. And I mean, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, it's not, obviously it's not as good as what she did, but it's definitely, you know, I mean, I just got to practice more, but this is definitely a look that I would wear out. You know, even with the red lip, I think I would wear it out. So let me make sure that the next, I think she also puts on falsies, but I'm not going to do that because 
that's another thing that I'm not really good at and they just drive my eyes nuts especially when I wear contacts which I am now so I don't want to add like two irritating things to my eyes all right so now we are going to just take the twinkling lights collection from ColourPop and this is the shade Lucky Star. This is like a really stunning true red that I feel like I've been looking for for forever so I'm really excited to use it. I'm really happy she posted this video recently because I was kind of like I never wear red but I absolutely love the way this looks so this gives me good opportunity to try it out. So let's just go ahead and pop this on and that will be the end of this look. Alright guys, so I know this probably isn't like the best application of the lip, but this is it. So here is what the final look looks like. Um, I mean this red lip is pretty. I'm just, it's so hard for me to get used to seeing myself with red lipstick because I just never ever wear it, even though I have so many reds if you looked, if you saw my last video, which was my entire lip collection. but. You know, I think this is really pretty. This is definitely like that true, true red. Um, I messed it up a little bit over here, but it is what it is. So this is the final look. Alright guys, so that completes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me follow a Kathleen Lights makeup tutorial. She is hands down one of my favorite YouTubers, so I thought it would be really fun to follow one of her videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!